Hi everyone, my name is Dan and today is an exciting day for me. I got a new stand to show you. It's my first unboxing video, so bear with me. Uh, I don't know if I should have made a script or not, but here we go. So I picked this up today at our local Tom Lee store. I'm in uh, Canada, in Vancouver. And I went to the Richmond store, they had it in stock, I noticed online. And I've been looking for a hydrogen for a while. Didn't know if I wanted to spend like almost two grand here for the uh, the bigger models and the desktop. Well, I wasn't sure about that one either. This one seems to take all the boxes for me. And if I don't like it, I can always just return it. Got a good deal there. The box itself seems to be pretty sturdy. Lots of tape. Might take me a minute to figure out how to get into this thing. In case I have to return it, I'm not going to rip it to shreds. Oh, that was too easy. Got a little flat here. Oh, brilliant. A little box cutter away. I hurt myself. Okay, what do we got here? Some Before you start working with Hypersynth, please visit uh, Ash ashensoundmachines.com and download this firmware. Please download the updater and patch manager software as well. Okay, pretty basic. I'll worry about that later. I assume it's a pretty recent software update or firmware update. This big a brand new machine and all. I think they were up to 1.5 or something. Let's go. Okay, we got the uh, owner's manual. Looking good. Okay, what signs up here? That's the bottom. Try and slide it out. Let's get a good view of that. Okay, she's out. Nicely packed. Good center support. Far so good. Oh. Side box. We got. I assume it's going to be an adapter. Oops, careful. Okay. Cut away from your body. Safety tip number one. Okay, got adapters, and it looks like. Some sort of universal power just in case I leave the country. I believe this thing also runs on batteries, which I probably never use, but it's an awesome option to have. I believe it's eight uh, double A's. Okay, remove the plastic. Oh, oh. Kind of like the uh, the orange, as you can tell. I kind of uh, enjoy orange and black. So, what's not to like? Okay. There we go. We got plastic on the keyboard. Okay, let's turn it so you guys can take a look. Oh, it's not too bad. I must admit, it feels nice and sturdy. Uh, Looks like a metal bottom, serial number, battery compartment, get into that fairly easily, eight double A's. So far everything seems to be pretty impressive as far as build quality. Again, I'll do a little bit of a, of a playing demo later on. This is just a basic unboxing. Peel the plastic off. Oh, not too much travel on the keys, but you know what? That's okay. I have other controller keyboards if I need to get more depth, but that's, I think, going to be fine for this, this particular synth. Polyphonic aftertouch, which I'm kind of curious about. I haven't had that since I think my Ansonic VFX XD back in uh, the late 80s, early 90s had something like that, which I, mean, I don't know if it did or not, but uh, 
notoriously bad key bed on that Sonic keyboard. Anyway, uh, knobs feel great. Everything looks good. I'm not even going to power it up now. I just want to just take a look at the, the basic overall groove of it. And, uh, filters right there. Drive. Buttons. Buttons feel pretty good. Okay. Uh, hey everyone, thanks for watching my first unboxing video. I hope it wasn't too boring. These things generally, I'm not sure what their purpose are, but uh, it's a lot of fun for me to actually unbox it. So I hope you got some of my enthusiasm. I hope it shone through these uh, Apple cameras and stuff like that. Hey, you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. And don't forget to check out my channel, uh, other videos, and please like and subscribe. Thanks very much. My name is Dan.